Brinley 15 gallon tow behind sprayer assembly. Tools required, a half inch wrench and socket, a 7 16th inch wrench and socket, slip joint pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, and gloves and eye protection are also recommended. Note, the illustrations on page six are to scale for faster identification of hardware during assembly. Lay the hardware on top of the illustrations on page six. Also note, using soapy water or grease to lubricate the end of the hoses will make the connection easier during assembly. You may want to work with the sprayer tank resting on top of the box, letting the tank cap nestle down inside of the box. Step one, attaching the frame brackets. Note, one edge of each of the frame brackets will have two holes, one of which is an oval opening. This edge lays flat against the sprayer tank. Add a 5 16th inch flat washer to a 5 16th inch flange bolt and run the bolt through the oval opening in the bracket. Repeat this step on the other side, adding a 5 16th inch flat washer to a 5 16th inch flange bolt and running the bolt through the circular opening at the base of the left hand bracket. Tighten the bolts in place, securing the bracket to the tank using a half inch socket wrench. Repeat this step on the other side, adding two 5 16th inch flat washers to two 5 16th inch flange bolts and running the bolts through the circular and oval openings in the frame bracket, securing the frame bracket to the tank using a half inch socket wrench. Step two, attaching the axle brackets. Run two 5 16th inch by 3 quarter inch bolts through the triangular axle bracket and frame bracket, securing the bolts to the inside lip of the frame bracket with two 5 16th inch hex nuts. Repeat this step on the other side of the tank with the right hand frame bracket. Slide two 5 16th inch hex bolts through the axle bracket and the frame edge and secure the bracket in place by adding two 5 16th inch hex nuts to the end of the bolts and securing them both fully with two half inch socket wrenches. Step 3A, adding the axle. Run the axle through the triangular axle brackets that were added on step two. Step 3B, adding the wheels. In this order, add the following items to the axle. The spacer, an axle washer, the wheel, another axle washer, and secure the wheel in place by adding an E-ring through the slot at the end of the axle. Note, you may need to tap or push the retaining ring into place by applying pressure with a wrench. Now, repeat this step on the other end of the axle, adding a spacer, an axle washer, the wheel, another axle washer, and secure the wheel in place by sliding an E-ring through the slot in the end of the axle using a tool if necessary. Step four, adding the tow bars. Align the two holes in the end of the tow bars with the two holes in the frame bracket and run two 5 16th inch by 3 quarter inch hex head bolts through the frame bracket and the tow bar. Add two 5 16th inch hex nuts to each bolt and secure in place with two half inch socket wrenches. Repeat this step on the other side by aligning the two holes in the other tow bar with the two holes in the other frame bracket and running two 5 16th inch by 3 quarter inch hex head bolts through the frame bracket and tow bar, adding two 5 16th inch hex nuts and securing the tow bar in place with two half inch socket wrenches. Step five, adding the clevis. Run the quarter inch by one and a half inch bolt through the holes at the other end of the two tow bars that were just added. Add a quarter inch lock nut to the end and tighten with a 7 16th inch socket wrench. Note, do not fully tighten all the way until the tow bars are touching. Allow a gap for the bolts on step 5B. Step 5B, from below run two 5 16th inch by two inch bolts through the square hole in the clevis bracket openings and pass the two bolts through the ends of the tow bars, straddling the bolt, holding the tow bars together, as shown. Then, pass the second clevis bracket through both bolts and over the tow bars. Add a quarter inch lock nut to each bolt and secure in place with a 7 16th inch socket wrench. And now, tighten the quarter inch by one and a half inch bolt, securing the clevis bolts in place. 
Add the clevis pin to the end of the clevis hitch brackets and secure the clevis pin in place with the cotter pin. Now carefully flip the sprayer over and set it on its wheels. Step 6. Adding the boom supports. The left and right boom supports have a lip at the top that should project away from the tank as shown. From the outside edge, add the 5 16 inch by 3 and a quarter inch bolts through the boom supports and frame brackets and secure the bolts in place with two 5 16 inch lock nuts. Repeat with the other boom support, making sure the top lip is pointed outward and from the outside edge, add two 5 16 inch by 3 quarter inch bolts through the boom supports and frame brackets and secure in place with two 5 16 inch lock nuts. Step 7. Adding the cross brace. Align the cross brace across the top of the two boom supports. From below the lip of the boom supports, run the 5 16 inch by 2 and a quarter inch bolts up through the boom supports and cross brace and adding a whiz nut to secure the cross brace in place. Making sure the lip of the whiz nut is facing down against the cross brace. Step 7B. Adding the boom arms. Add a second whiz nut on top of the same two bolts, this time with the lips facing up on both whiz nuts. Then add the first boom arm to the end of one of the bolts, making sure the nozzle extension at the end of the boom arm is pointing down. And secure the arm in place by adding another whiz nut, making sure the lip is facing down towards the boom arm. Repeat this step on the other side adding a boom arm to the bolt and adding another whiz nut with the lip of the whiz nut facing down towards the boom arm and the nozzle extension at the end of the boom arm pointing down. Tighten the whiz nuts with a half inch wrench or extended socket wrench so they stay securely in place but leave them loose enough so they can be folded up for storage. Step 8. Attaching the pump Align the pump with the four holes on the flat panel next to the opening of the tank. The pump has a very small arrow indicating the barb flow. This arrow needs to point away from the tank lid. Add a number 10 lock washer to four of the number 10 round head screws. And using these four screws, secure the pump to the tank. Secure the pump to the tank by passing them through the feet of the tank and the four holes in the flat panel on the top of the tank. Step 9. Adding the wand brackets. Note, the number 10 1 inch round screw will go in the hole in the tank with the grommet and the number 10 1 inch tapping screw will go in the other hole in the tank. Place a spacer and wand bracket on the number 10 1 inch screw and attach it to the grommet using a Phillips head screwdriver. Then add a wand bracket and spacer to the tapping screw and attach the bracket to the tank using a Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure the brackets are oriented so the wand can be clipped in along the side of the tank as shown. Step 10A. Adding the boom nozzles. Slide the threaded end of a nozzle body through the hole in the extension of the boom arm and secure the nozzle body in place using a plastic jam nut. Make sure the nozzle body is facing inward. Step 10B. Add the filter by placing it in the opening at the threaded end of the nozzle body. Step 10C. Then add the red nozzle to the fitting nut. Step 10D. And finish the nozzle by adding the fitting nut to the threaded end, making sure the red nozzle tip is pointing down. Repeat these steps on the other side to add the second nozzle, placing a nozzle body through the extension at the end of the boom arm and securing it in place with a plastic jam nut, then adding the filter to the nozzle body and placing the red nozzle tip into the fitting nut and adding the fitting nut to the end of the threaded nozzle body, making sure the nozzle tip is pointed down. Step 11. Adding the first 22-inch hose. Note, using soapy water or grease on the hoses will make the hoses easier to connect. First, slide a clamp over the end of the hose and then insert the rigid end of an adapter into the end of the 22-inch hose. 
Then attach the strainer to the end of the adapter. Slide the clamp back up to the end of the hose and clamp fully with pliers. Then place the hose inside the tank and slide the raw end of the hose back out of the hole located next to the pump. Pull the hose out a couple of feet and slide a clamp onto the end of the hose. Then place the hose onto the barb of the pump pointing towards the opening. Slide the clamp up to the edge near the pump and tighten the clamp down all the way with a pair of pliers. Step 12, adding the eight inch hose. Add a clamp to one end of the eight inch hose and place the hose on the barb on the opposite end of the pump. Then slide the clamp up close to the pump and clamp it all the way down using a pair of pliers to secure the hose to the pump. Step 13A, adding a fitting to the hose. Slide a clamp onto the other end of the eight inch hose and place the barbed end of the T-valve fitting into the end of the hose. Slide the clamp back up towards the fitting and fully clamp using pliers. Step 13B, adding the dual T-valve. Screw the bottom end of the dual T-valve onto the fitting at the end of the eight inch hose. Step 13C, adding the hose barbs. Insert a hose barb through the hose swivel nut and follow with a three quarter inch vinyl washer. Make sure to push the vinyl washer all the way down, but do not damage the threading inside of the swivel nut. Then add the hose barb and vinyl washer to the end of the T-valve. Repeat this step again, adding a hose barb through the hose swivel nut and following with a three quarter inch vinyl washer, pushing it all the way down, being careful not to damage the threading inside of the swivel nut. Then attach the barb and vinyl washer to the other end of the T-valve. Step 14A, adding the second 22 inch hose. Slide a clamp over the end of the 22 inch hose and place one end of the hose on the end of the barb. Move the clamp back up towards the barb and fully clamp in place with pliers. Step 14B, adding the T-barb to the end of the 22 inch hose. Add a clamp to the other end of the 22 inch hose and insert the T-shaped barb to the end of the hose. Slide the clamp up towards the barb and fully clamp in place with pliers. Step 15, adding the first 17 inch hose. Slide a clamp over one end of the 17 inch hose and insert one end of the T-shaped barb into the end of the hose. Then place a second clamp on the end of the 17 inch hose and add the clamp to the barb at the end of the boom arm. Slide the clamp towards the nozzle and secure fully in place with pliers. Then, if you haven't already, slide the clip towards the other end of the hose near the T-barb and fully tighten with pliers. Step 16, adding the second 17-inch hose. Slide a clip over one end of the second 17-inch hose and place one end of the hose over the open end of the T-shaped barb. Then, place a second clip over the 17-inch hose and slide that end over the barb at the end of the boom extension. Slide the clip towards the end of the hose and fully secure in place with pliers. Then slide the second clip towards the end closest to the T-shaped barb and fully secure that clip in place with pliers. Step 17A, adding the longest hose. Add a clip to one end of the longest hose and slide the end of the hose over the other barb in the T-shaped valve. Slide the clip up towards the end of the T-shaped valve and secure fully in place with pliers. Step 17B, attaching the wand. Wrap the longest hose around the tank using the recesses in either end to hold the hose in place. Then add a clip to the end of the hose and slide the barbed end of the wand into the hose, slide the clip up back towards the handle and clip fully in place with pliers, securing the wand to the end of the hose. Step 17C, clipping the wand. Attach the wand to the tank by pressing it into the two brackets on the side of the tank. Step 18, adjusting the nozzles. Attach the sprayer to your tractor using the hitch. Then measure and adjust the nozzles to keep an ideal distance of 17 and a quarter inches from the ground. Step 19, connecting the electric. 
verify that the leads are properly attached. And the tractor's red lead is attached to the positive terminal, while the tractor's black lead is attached to the negative terminal. Step 20. Attach the black lead of the wire harness battery connector to the negative battery terminal. Then attach the red lead of your wire battery harness to the positive battery terminal, securing them both in place using a Phillips head screwdriver. Step 21. Attach the wiring harness with switch to the connector terminal end of the wire harness battery connection. Step 22. Attach the other end of the remaining terminal lead connector from the wiring harness with switch to the terminal lead connector coming from the pump. If the pump begins to run, use the switch to turn the pump off. Congratulations, your Brindley sprayer assembly is complete. For questions, call Brindley Customer Service at 877-728-8224. Brindley, since 1839.